sugars, how you doing? I am back again. And baby, I have one hell of a story to tell you, honey. Because baby, it's been a crazy week. And I don't know, but these skanky bitches got me fucked up. But before I go into the detail of what happened to my How You Die Girl shoes, I would like to send out a few happy birthdays. So I want to send out some birthday shouts to Alan Sims. Hi, little cousin. What's up, boy? I love y'all. And y'all know him from Sweet Editions TV. Candy's little brother. He turns 25 October 24th. And I wanted to say happy birthday, honey. Happy birthday, Brandon Daniel. Ooh, you 19. Young man. Call me when you get uh 31. <laughs> um, Marina Knox Oh, happy birthday, sweetheart I used to live in Fort Knox And uh, I tell you what, no joke So the last name, named Knox I'm sure you are very much so in control Thank you to a lot of women And a lot of sugars um, That's been supporting my channel I really appreciate all you guys' comments Um Keep leaving them. I would like a little bit more because, you know, uh, I enjoy reading them. And y'all feedback helps me continue to give you guys a great show. So, Stephen uh, Cumberland, happy birthday to you, sweetheart. Uh, Monet Sale, she just turned 21. One more year, you'll be can go to Cub Coles. And I have one heck of a story to tell you guys because... I've been going through hell, so I would like to dedicate this next show to my birthday shouts, my birthday people, Brenda, Jasmine Maxwell, my little cousin, happy birthday, baby, how you doing, it's Cornbread's mother, happy birthday, she's turned 20, has it been 20 years, it's been a long time, anyway, the Life of Cousin Patrick Show would like to say, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Now let's get to this crazy story that I'm getting ready to tell you all about. Now recently, my good friend's sister, Miss Coco had gave me some shoes. And when I seen these shoes, I was so bedazzled by them because they were so beautiful. And it took me back a little bit. It reminded me of when I was young. And when my mom and them used to get all dressed up and put on all they pretty gear. And I used to watch my mom and my auntie them get all dolled up and get all dressed up. And they'll put on such pretty, glamorous shoes. Such. Woo. Take a pick of a lady's shoe. Yes, honey. My shoe. Yes. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> I used to see my mom get all dressed up and put on her furs and put on her how you die shoes. And I used to always thought, oh, when I grow up, I want to be just like her. I love it. And, when, you know, she'll gather us up and we'll be all in the car. We'll be riding along or whatnot. And maybe we'll make a stop somewhere. And some guy might come over and say hello to my mom. And my mom used to be like, how you die? And she'll say, how you die? And the gentleman man would be real friendly. And she'd say, say hello to the gentleman man, kids. And we'll say, hi. Then she'll just go away for a second, I guess, and talk to the man. And then she'll come back and she'll be like, thank you, doll. And she'll have a handful of money. And she'll like, come on, y'all. We're going to go shopping. We're going to go to McDonald's. We're going to go do this and that. And she would just be so happy, and she'll look so beautiful. And uh, we'll just have a great time. 
And, you know, I watched my mom. She used to get dressed and put on all white. And she used to wear these little ear things, a testoscope. And, and she'll put on her little soft walkers and she'll go to the hospital on a regular basis. And But when she come back, you know, she may have a little paper check in her hand. But she'll always seem to be unhappy. Always seem to be sad. So, <clears throat> as a child, I watched my mom. And she... You know, did all these things, you know. She did her. She was always at the hospital. <laughs> so when it came to me as a kid, and someone had asked me at school, what do you want to be when you grow up, which was my teacher. I said, I want to be a higher die girl. And the lady said, a who? I said, a higher die girl. She said, child, I don't know what you talking about, child. Now, and I was like, I want to put on my beautiful clothes, my silk lace and satin, and my red lipstick, and put on my... <laughs> yes. My higher dye shoes. And now the gentleman will be able to take very good care of me. And I'll be happy and I'll be beautiful and I'll have nice things I will not have to worry. As long as I say thank you, doll. So, you know, she just said, okay. She went on to the next students and everybody else wanted to be doctors and firefighters and whatnot. And I had went on, you know. And I goes home and it was crazy because my auntie never used to be like, do your mama, do your mama, Patches, do your mama. And when I do my mama, I used to be like, how you doll? <laughs> How you doing, sugar? Thank you, doll. And I used to switch my hips so hard, my hips used to hit the ground. They'd be like, stop it, mom. Then take your ass back in her patches. That child don't got no damn sense. She's crazy. That child don't got no sense. So, all I said is that when I was younger, I didn't notice right away that my mother was a nurse. And that's what she did to support us. And that she also had did her to support us. I didn't even want to even begin to even do them things. I wanted to be just like my mama. I wanted to have the fur coats. And I wanted to have the beautiful diamonds. And I wanted to have the lace and the silk and the pretty eyes. And I love her high da shoes. Yes, yes, yes. So when people used to ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I used to tell them I was to be a high da girl. Now, let me tell you something. I knew there was a difference with the higher dog girls and the rest of the skanky women out there in the world because my aunties then we used to talk about it. We used to be like, oh, bitch, look at that tied hoe. That's a tied hoe out there. Look at it. That's a tied hoe. And then my auntie, mother auntie, be like, no, nah, right there, that's an old uh, hook a hoe. You can tell the way she's leaning to the side, walking on the nails of her shoes. The bitch need to get some taps on the bottom of her shoes. That's one cheap hook of whore. So, I knew that there was some hook of whores out there in the world. But the how you die ladies. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They seemed to just fancy the gentleman and the man just used to ask them what they want and what they need. And they would just be so generous and so nice and would give them to them. So, yes, I wanted to be a how you die girl. And when I seen Miss Coco, my sister, she came and brought me a whole treasure worth of how you die girl shoes to go with my own how you die girl shoes. I was so happy. Happy, because they had brought back all the memories. So I said, oh, I'm going to set them out one by one. I did a little show about it. And I was just so excited, honey. And I had y'all seen me playing them and trying them on and whatnot. Now, for some of y'all who do not know, um, that's a beautiful thing. I, I love Wendy Williams and whatnot. And uh, I like to consider myself, you know, a reformed and returned how you die girl. Um, you know, I love Wendy Williams and her how you doing. 
But see, I don't got time for all of that. I never heard my mother them ask nobody how they was doing. Because when you ask how you doing, you got to hear all the problems that come along with how you doing. So if you just say, how you die, that right there will get the gentleman asking you how you doing. And you'll be able to let them know, well, <laughs> I'm a little perched. I need a little drink. And then they'll bring me a little drink and I'll be like, thank you, Don. And then they'll go on and on and on. Well, what do you need? And I'll be like, I need this and I need that. <laughs> and the man gentleman there will be so polite to see that I get the things that I need. So, and this is something that, you know, a woman, you know, some women doing it subconscious, you know. It's an unspeaking language among we have your girl women, you know. So, uh, so I was just like I was telling you, I was very happy. So, the next day, a few friends of mine came over to the house and they brought their cousin with them. Now, I haven't made room yet for uh, where I was going to put all my higher dog girl shoes. So I have them in my hallway on my chest just sitting out very nicely. If y'all can see back where the mirror is, you can see them in the middle of my hallway just lined up so beautifully. So the other two ladies, they was here, and I was helping them with their lashes. But the other girl, the other girl, she was her the cousin, and we call her name is Bug. And baby, she looks like a bug, honey. That face looks like she's been beat up with a trail of miniature mini balls. Just ba 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 balls just all out of her face. You know? Like little Mike Mites. Little Mike Mike balls. Midget man testicle balls. You know? So she has all these dents and cradles in her face. But I still had let her in my house and I still had trusted the girl. I did not think she was going to come in my house and take my higher down girl shoes. Well, honey, she was still looking at some of the shoes back there, and I wasn't thinking about it, and I was putting the lashes on my friends before they had went out, and she had left out the house and disappeared for a little while. And I had noticed that she was gone, and I was like, where's your cousin at? And her cousin was like, who? That bitch, that black bitch is like a damn goat. She disappears and pops in and out. And the bitch popped back in. And she's like, ah, I had to go touch my phone. I had to go touch my phone. And I was like, okay. And she said, like, damn, I didn't think nothing of it. And I continue on putting on their eyelashes. Well, they went on and left to go to the club. And later on that day, I had walked back past my hallway. And I noticed a pair of shoes is missing. Well, Two pairs of shoes is missing because the bitch stole smish smacks. They look similar to one another. Yes, they did. They look very similar to one another. So, since those was the last hook of whores that was in my house, I called them up. So, I'm like, where's my shoes? And, and the bitch answered the phone. You can hear all this music in the background. She's like, Miss Carla, I don't got your shoes. You can ask everybody. I don't got to come over to your house. I don't give a fuck. I don't got to steal. Now, Soon as I call her ass, so where's my shoes? She jumped back. So right there, let me know we have a problem at hand. She got a sister girl fucked up. So I calls Ebony. I be like, bitch, where's my shoes? Your cousin said that I need to check with you. Now, in all these years, Ebony has never stole nothing out of my house. Our nanny has never took nothing out of my house. So I wasn't worried about them. But this new bitch, on the other hand, that looked like little St. Gremlin, has came in my house and took my motherfucking shoes. So, Emily was like, well, I don't know. They had went to the club, but I'm going to tell you something. She's the only one wearing silver and black. Her sister was wearing blue and uh, was wearing blue. So, she was wearing silver and black. So, uh, she was like, yeah, she said she had some shoes, but she said they didn't fit or something. So, you know, she went and got her, went to her mama's house and changed shoes before they went out. I was like, oh, really? I said, oh, okay. I'm on my way. So, I guess in the minivan about 3 o'clock in the morning, because I'm going to go meet them at the house, because I'm not getting ready to show out at Coles. I'm a how you die, girl. I don't want to get out there and have to show my ass if I don't have to, So, because I'm such a fucking lady. But, 
So, I get all the way over there about 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, I don't want to disturb nobody. Her auntie and the kids was all in the house sleep. It was about three kids, one teenager, two adults, well, three adults. And it was about 3 o'clock in the morning. And I was like, I'm so sorry, Mama Glow. I don't mean to be disturbing your house. I said, I'm at her. It's cold. And I'm waiting on your niece to get in this door. Because that bitch just took my shoes out of my house. And I'm not ready to have it. My sister gave me them shoes. And I want my shoes. So, I'm in my hoodie and my jogging suit waiting on her and her people's name house. And so, as her uh, auntie was talking, she's like, well, honey, I'm sorry. There's some, been some things around here that's been coming up missing her, uh, around my house as well. And I'm like, yes, ma'am, as I'm turning down the lights and opening up her shade because I'm getting ready to stock a bitch. I'm getting ready to let, uh, jump out on this whore when she drives up to drop her other cousin out. So the auntie was like, you know, I'm sorry, I don't know, but some things are mad coming up missing, and these girls must be stopped. I said, yeah, they're getting ready to be stopped today. All of a sudden, I see car lights driving up in the driveway. Why didn't I jump out of that house on that bitch? I sure the fuck did. I jumped out on that bitch, and I was like, but before she even get out the car, little scary troll looking bitch. I ran, where's my shoes, motherfucker? I know you got my shoes, bitch. She's like, I don't got your shoes. I don't got your shoes. You, if I want a shoes, I got 10,000 pair of shoes. Get out the car. I don't have the car door. She's like, these ain't my shoes. But the bitch had on some silver motherfucking shoes. But they wasn't my silver shoes because she stole two of the wrong pair. So the bitch had on some cheap ass Cloud Hill Shoes, okay? It's what the bitch had out. The shoes that came up missing from my house were these shoes, and they look a lot alike. But one has rhinestones, and the other one has mesh. So, you know, they're two different shoes, but the bitch thought she was stealing the same pair of shoes. But God was like, nah, bitch, you're not worthy enough. He refused to let a hook a whore wear a higher die shoe. So, uh, I'm like, so she stepped out, I got on these. I was like, bitch, get me the shoes off your motherfucking feet then, bitch, because I ain't leaving up out of here with no shoes. You can check my car. You can check my car. So the bitch started, uh, taking off her shoes. Her, you can have the shoes. Bitch, I know I can, bitch. And I was, so then she got to raise her voice. I don't care because she had some nigga in the black and he was like, I didn't come here for all this. I didn't come here for all this. And she was like, well, Miss Kyle, I don't have to take nothing from you. I don't give a fuck. I didn't have to take nothing from you. I don't steal. Bitch, don't raise your voice because I don't give a fuck. I'm tired of you little girls. You are not kidding me. I will fuck you up. You talking shit? Bring it down. So the bitch brings it down a little bit or whatever else. And she goes towards that, pop your trunk, bitch. And the bitch pops her motherfucking trunk. And she start, I thought, throwing shit out. She start looking through shit and all that shit. My shoes ain't in her. Bitch, you know my shoes ain't in her. I ain't going to go through all that. Bitch, you got to noon tomorrow to get my motherfucking shoes, bitch. Because you got me fucked up. So, ugh. As I storm off. With the bitch's shoes and left her barefooted outside in the cold weather around 4 a.m. in the motherfucking morning. All of a sudden, I heard, my phone, my phone, where's my phone? As I was walking away. So then they come running up, hey, have you seen her phone, have you seen her phone? Bitch, maybe if you could steal it from everybody else, the Lord wouldn't strike your ass down and take your shit from you. Maybe if you return other people's shit, you'll just so happen to find your phone, you stupid bitch. Out here fucking around, stealing people's shoes and smuggling shit out of people's house like a common petty thief whore. You got me fucked up. I don't give a fuck about your motherfucking shit. And if I knew, I wouldn't tell you, bitch. Get my shit back. So, let me gather myself together because now I've gotten fucked. Let me get a cigarette because I'm slightly pissed the fuck out. So, at this point, I go on home. And I go on home. And I throw the bitch's shoes down. And I go to sleep. Now, I wake up the next day. 
And baby bird comes over and I tell her what happens. And I'm like, bitch, this bitch came in here and stole my shoes. And as I told her the story, I got pissed off again. So you know what I did? It was a quarter to maybe 15 minutes to 12. I couldn't take it shit. I threw back all my jogging suit and I went back over to the bitch's house again. I sure the fuck did. Looking for that bitch. And when I got there, that bitch better be lucky her motherfucking ass was gone. They said, Miss Kyla, she's gone to the blood bank. And I'm glad. Because mostly when somebody fucks with me that hard, I make them draw blood. And I'm so glad that bitch with the draw blood was like the Lord knew she must have to bleed blood. Because that bitch went to the uh, motherfucking uh, blood bank and shit. But it was kind of crazy. Because this bitch just comes hollering the back. The kids was like, Miss Kyla, Miss Kyla, are these your shoes? Are these your shoes? Here's bug shoes. Are these, these your shoes? Like, no, baby. She said, well, these are bug shoes. She had these on her feet. I said, give me these two. Give me these motherfucking shoes. And you can tell the difference between these hook horse shoes and my higher die shoes. Just look at hook a horse. Hook a horse shoes. I'm pissed. So I grabbed my shoes, I took the bitch's shoes, and I came back to my motherfucking house, bitch. And tell that bitch, come looking for me. She better have my shit. I'm coming for her ass. So now I got two pairs of shoes, because the bitch in reality owns two pairs of shoes of mine, because she stole Smith Smacks, and she got the sister girl fucked up. Well, when she came back to the house, she heard that I have been there. And so she had an audacity to try to whip up over and come over to my house like she's a badass bitch. But the bitch was so motherfucking bad, she didn't even get out her motherfucking car. The window was cracked this much, and she's hollering at her car. I want my phone. I want my phone. Bitch, where is my motherfucking shoes, or I have nothing to do with that. I don't know what you fucking talking about, bitch. Maybe you could do so much fucked up shit, you could find your shit. Where's my shit at? Well, I want my stuff. I want my stuff. Girl, if you don't get out of my motherfucking face and don't come on my shoes, I'm going to beat that motherfucking ass because, bitch, you got me fucked up. By this time, baby bird has came out of her house and shit. She's on her way down the street. And I snatched open the door of the girl's car door. And I'm standing in there. And this bitch is half shaking. Nene and them said that you got it. You got it. Here, call your mama. Now, the other little cousin that had said this is this bitch's shoes, she was sitting in the back sneak with a snuggie on like, bitch, hi, Miss Kyla. Because they know I'm good to them. You understand? And then we had another diva uh, uh, with him. And um, Sydney, hi, baby. And he was like, you know, I guess he came to... Um, to tell me that, you know, bug don't always steal or whatever. And I was like, baby, this is between me and her, honey. And he got his ass back in the car. So this bitch is like, well, I'm going you, you, to call the police. Bitch, that's what you better do because, bitch, I'm going to whoop your ass. Now, how you going to come to my house and going to call the police on me? Bitch, she called the police on me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I'm sitting outside pacing. Smoking me a cigarette, mad as hell, honey. Mad as hell. And my motherfucking gown, baby. And my damn gown. And row. Tell me why. You know, she's sitting in her car with her door shut. Nervous in the motherfucker. Talking about I'm outside her door. And I'm getting ready to fight her. And all she wants is her shit back. Well, bitch, where's my shoes, bitch? So, anyway. The police pulls up. And now the bitch want to jump out the car. Bitch want to get bad when the motherfucking police come. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm a good citizen of this neighborhood. I've been here for a long fucking time. So them officers know me. And soon as she try to come out that car, they say, get back in the car, ma'am. Get back in the car. She said, but I call the police. Hold on. Get back in the car. I'm talking to Miss Carla. So police officer gets my side of the story. I said, my shoes came up missing out of my house. I not appreciate it. I feel vandalized. I said, they coming over my house and they stole from me. I feel them the right. All I want is my shoes. My sister gave me them shoes. Those are my higher die shoes. You can come search my house 
and he come searching my house. I said, come on in, baby. Come and look at my house. And I'll show you all the shoes I got and what she took about her. And when he came in here and he seen all these shoes, he was like, yeah, baby. And then he said, well, did you take our shoes? I said, I damn well did. I made her come up out her shoes as soon as I seen her from the club. And yeah, I went back the next day and I got the bitch's second pair of shoes. Now, officer, when the bitch brings me my shoes back, I will bring, I will give her these, excuse me, raggedy, cheap ass shoes. That I may have to set on fire because they made out of wood just in case the heat goes out in this motherfucker. So, if the bitch don't bring me my motherfucking shoes. So, uh, he said, okay, I'm going to go out here and talk to this girl. So, he goes out there and gets the girl's information, runs her name. Honey, she's on probation on top of all of that. He's like, look here, honey. You need to return all her stuff. For one, you are stealing out of her house. I'm going to give her information, and I'm she can go downtown and press a warrant out on your ass. Well, he didn't say ass, a warrant out on you, ma'am. He was like, you need to stay away from her property and don't come back here again. I'm going to have you arrested. Tell me why this bitch started crying. Now, she's upset. She's crying. Bitch, you called the police on me and it backfired on your ugly motherfucking ass, bitch. How you gonna steal something out of my motherfucking house and then call the police on me? I'm tired of it. You got me fucked up. You don't know who you fucking with. Because I don't play that shit. I take pride in the things that I have. Tell me why that scary looking hoe drove off and left or whatever else. And I ain't heard from the bitch, but her mama had a nerve to call. And her mama called. And her mama was like as quiet as it kept, baby. I'm sorry I've been having problems out of her. And I talked to her. I was just calm. She I was just as calm. And I was like, look, ma'am, your daughter had got my shoes. And I said, I don't know. But the stroke of midnight, she better have my shoes. I'm going downtown to put a warrant out on her. She was like, well, I've been telling her. She went to the club and left his baby in her sick. She just had his baby. Baby, I've been taking care of this baby, and I'm tired, and I'm like, well, baby, I said, I have nothing to do with that, but I know she better get my shoes to me, because I don't care, and she said, so, well, she wearing your shoes, I said, no, but whatever shoes she had on, I made it come up out of them, she said, well, baby, what the shoes look like? So I told her the shoes, what they looked like. They were silver with a cork on that motherfucker. She said, oh, baby, those are my shoes. I said, well, baby, I'm sorry. I don't care if it was your great-great-grandmama's shoes. Ain't nobody getting nothing about her and try to get my higher dog shoes back because I don't appreciate her stealing stuff up out of my house. So the lady was like, I'm so sorry, Miss Collin. She said, I'm going to get down to the bottom of this, and we're going to try to get your shoes. And like I told the lady, I don't care if the shoes come back in 50 pieces. She needs to bring me my damn shoes to me. Well, honey, the lady did call me back. She gonna try to tell me that her daughter's gonna stick to her story or whatever else, and she don't know what she needs to do to come and get the little girl some belongings. I said, well, honey, that is not for me to tell you. That little girl needs to get with her little friends, and they need to figure out what the hell they do with my motherfucking shoes. Until then, I'll holler at you, baby. I'll be right here waiting. I said, because, see, I don't play these games with these children. I don't play. I don't have time for it. And Miss Carla don't feel like finding her ass in jail. So the bitch better have my damn shoes. <sighs> So the lady called me back and said she was not able to get the shoes, but if could I give her a day or two to try to get my shoes back before I go downtown to press charges on the whore. But then I'm sitting over here with two pairs of shoes and she can't wear the shoes anyway. She can't wear these anyway because I got the mates to them, honey. And I'm going to tell you something. The Lord ain't going to allow just any hook or whore to wear a how you die shoe. And that's why he didn't bless you with both of the shoes. You got two different of the wrong shoes. So the next time you try to Fuck with a howdy dog, girl. You must be ready, baby, because you will be struck down and cast to hell for such behavior. You cheap hook or whore, you. So, I didn't mean to get so upset making this video, but I had to let y'all know what was going on because the sister girl was so distressed. And y'all know I've already had some shit with my niece with her taking money from me and then buying that damn phone and all that. So I had all that built up inside of me. So I couldn't have that, you know. I wasn't with it. And I'm going to tell you something. That little half a hook a hole was not prepared for what holds within the power of a higher dog girl shoe. Because, honey, mm -mm -mm. Well, when I went out with a pair of shoes on my feet, ooh, did y'all see it? Did y'all see it? Yes, my how you die. Yes, yes, yes. I wasn't ready for the responsibility that came with it. Oh. 
So, no, I was not prepared. Because, baby, I wore my higher dye shoes at Honey. And sometimes when you wear higher dye shoes, you end up drawing sometimes maybe the wrong kind of company, Honey. And when I was sitting in Coles, like the foxy lady that I am, with my, can y'all see, with my higher dye girl shoes on, yes, they couldn't take it, honey. The men got the bad all kinds of drink. They come over to me, and they was like, oh, you're so beautiful. And I'm like, thank you, Doc. And he's like, how you doing? And I'm like, how you doing? I'm just a little perch. And they started buying me drinks as usual, running up big buy tabs as usual, honey. And I'm going to tell you, as this gentleman who looks so distinguished, honey, oh, as he got to drinking, he started, started getting out of character because he was sitting here while my legs was crossed and my higher dye shoes were just in his face, just making him hypnotized. Why did he not start grinding and rolling? I tried to make him calm down in his seat, but he couldn't take a higher girl dye shoe. No, he didn't. He got up and he stopped popping and thrusting and moving. And I'm like, hold on, baby. He was like, I don't know, but you are hot. You are sick. Sexy, can I get your number? Can I call you? Can we get together sometime? I'm like, oh, hold on, baby. Calm down. You need to buy another round, baby. Slow up, honey. He couldn't take it, baby. So all I'm saying is, is that when it's time, it's come, honey. You must be careful with these how you dye shoes because it took security to tell him that his money wasn't even no good no more because he kept being all up on a how you dye girl. All he kept doing, he kept grabbing on my legs, honey, and caressing my shoes. Security had a flash of light on him. Then security come tapping on him. He was like, you can't be getting that close to a higher dog girl. She, you can't do all that. She ain't with all that. Just buy the lady a drink and keep it moving. How come he touched me again? It was time to go. They clicked on the lights and closed. Honey, they sent his money back and they escorted him out one door and they told me to come this way. They was like, baby girl, you gotta go, baby. You can't be in here. That these guys are going crazy. We got to shut it down, baby, to protect the higher guy. Hire, hire your dog, girl, Josh. We got to have y'all protected. And these men are getting crazy, so we need to make sure you make it to your car, okay? So you need to go home. And so they went on and they escorted me to my car so I could make sure I get home, okay? And as I was going to my car, the same little guy come rolling up, honey. And he was like, oh, you are so gorgeous. I'm going to take you home with me. And I'm like, oh, no, you're not. Because how you die, girls, don't get taken home, baby. How you die, girls, don't make it to the hotels and all that little stuff. How you die, girls, go home like classy ladies supposed to. And start it all over again the next day, baby. Yes, we do. <sighs> because that is a life of a how you die, girl. We are always running. I tell you, you can't sell us down, baby. And thank you for meet us one day and take us here and there. We not hook a horse. No, we are just here to give you a nice little conversation and make things all comfortable and laid back so you can enjoy yourself and have a nice day. So. I just wanted to include y'all into my little world of the higher die new reform ladies, baby. And I feel like since I fought so hard, I needed to tell y'all, y'all know I got a bad back of things. And I have to sometimes use my cane, baby. But baby, it doesn't mean I still can't be sexy and be a higher die girl. And ain't no hook or whore going to take my higher die girl shoes and run off with them. Neither is a wolf in sheep clothing is going to get a hold of a higher dog kitty cat just over a few drinks. No, you're not, honey. No, baby. So, until next time, don't forget to tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your cousin to subscribe to Life with Cousin Patches. Smooch your sugar. Thank you, Dad, for tuning in. Follow me on Facebook. I'm always checking there. And y'all know I'm trying to get myself together on that Twitter, honey. 
I have new shows coming up for you with me and Miss Coco Planet. Yes, we will be recruiting more high you die girls because honey it's very rare to find honey a high you die girl because them hookers and hoes be trying to get all up in the line honey and there's a lot of them is not going to make it as a high you die girl because they cheap hoes so you know I am trying to teach the world and ladies to be a better lady like my mama taught me smooches